Hi, I'm Joy Rose with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Have you ever wanted to customize clothing, accessories, or other fabric pieces? Well, look no further, because today we're going to show you how to use fabric paint, along with fabric markers, and much more. So, let's get started. Now, you might be wondering what the difference is between fabric paints and craft paints like these. They look the same, right? Well, not quite. Fabric paint actually contains a special adhesive that craft paint does not have, and it allows the paint to penetrate through the fabric fibers. See the difference in these pieces of jersey knit? The one that we use fabric paint on is still flowy and soft, while this craft paint one is really stiff. These pillows show this pretty well too. The craft paint just sits on top of the fabric, so when we play with it, the paint is unforgiving and even takes on a weird shape. In contrast, however, the fabric paint pillow keeps its flexibility and goes back to its original shape, no problem. Well, we hope that's convinced you. Now let's show you what this brush on fabric paint can do. You can do freehand designs like we've done with the sun using no more than a paintbrush. Doesn't this sun just make you happy? Stencils are a good way to get extra precision. Plus, you can repeat the exact same shape over and over if you wanted. And how about a wooden or foam stamp? Use a roller or a brayer to lay on the paint and then press it down onto your fabric. You really don't need any artistic ability, but you'd never guess it. And hey, speaking of stamps, did you know that we carry ink pads made specifically for fabric? Forget the brush or roller and just press some fabric-friendly ink onto your stamp to give plain fabric a fun and permanent makeover. Now to add a little something extra to your project, use dimensional paints like these. Dimensional paint comes in fine-tipped bottles, which are ideal for writing and drawing. Check out that texture. Isn't it great? You'll find it in many colors and finishes, including matte, pearl, metallic, sparkle, and even glow-in-the-dark. Talk about the coolest kids room accessories ever. All right, who's got the lights? Then when you're done using dimensional paints, it's an easy cleanup. Just replace the cap and put them away. And while we're speaking of simplicity, it doesn't get much simpler than fabric markers. They work just like regular markers, so if you or the kiddos like to doodle on paper, these will be especially fun. There are broad, fine, and even brush tip fabric markers to play with. We made these trendy shoes with just some of the colors that are available. And like all fabric paint, you can bet these colors won't go fading away. We also like to use fabric markers with rubber stamps. Just draw onto the stamp with your markers and look, the color is so precise. Fabric dyes are another option for transforming plain fabric. We especially like how the dyes make the fabric look like they've always been that color. So let's show you some of the possibilities. You can dye an entire fabric piece one color pretty easily, but that's just the start. Try dip dyeing to get an ombre effect like this. Or use water-soluble tacky glue to draw fun patterns like this before you dye your fabric. When you rinse out the extra dye, the glue will go with it, leaving your design. And then there's the beautiful shibori dyeing, which inspired this deep blue fabric design. If you want to skip the prep of liquid dyes, spray dyes are ready to go straight from the bottle. If you'd like to achieve this unique organic pattern, for example, all you have to do is scrunch and spray. Or keep your fabric laid out flat and spritz it every which way for a splattered look. Want a little more uniformity? Spray on top of shapes like we did for these bucks and you're left with fun silhouettes. And hey, don't forget about ombre. Spray dyes have you covered there too. The last of the fabric dyes we want to show you is certainly not the least. Tie dye is still as popular as ever and way easier than it looks. Just check out our tie dye videos to learn how to make tie dye patterns like these on clothing, accessories, and more. Now, we've already discussed spray dyes, but did you also know that we had spray paint for fabric as well? That's how we created this tote bag. We used bits of painter's tape to block out the shapes and then sprayed over it with a nice opaque color. We used a stencil instead of tape for our leopard backpack here. The metallic finish is our favorite part. 
Then there's this one-of-a-kind pillowcase. Just like the kind we did with Di, all you have to do is scrunch and spray. And isn't this little girl's t-shirt the cutest? We put some little wooden shapes down first to create the petal shapes. Then we sprayed from the bottom to the top of the shirt with less and less paint to get that ombre effect. We have one more type of paint we'd like to show you, and it's made for the biggest of fabric painting projects, upholstery. It comes in a handful of colors, and it's so easy to use. All you have to do is spray it on. Look how it's transforming this chair. Go for the darker paint on lighter fabric for the best results, and make sure to use it in a well-ventilated area and follow the precautions listed on the can. Once it's dry, this paint is permanent and won't rub off. And best of all, your upholstery will keep its original softness. Can you imagine how easy it would be to transform the entire look of a room with just upholstery paint? Try it out for yourself. So there you have it. Now it's your turn to go out there and create and customize your very own fabric project. Now for more how-tos and inspirations, be sure to check out our other videos. And we'll see you next time right here at the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio.